Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So in the previous video, we've seen that the area uh, between 2 and 8 of this function here is, uh, is 39. So now it's your turn to have a go. Work out the area between, um, between 3 and 9 for this function here. Okay, so, so work out this, uh, this area here. Work out, work out this area here. Okay, so, um, uh, and, and, and you might need this. Okay, so, uh, press pause and, um, and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, um, re re remember, we, we're gonna split, we, we're gonna split this up from, from 3 to 9. We're gonna, B takeaway A would be, uh, so, so this whole length here, which is B takeaway A would be, uh, would be 6, and then cut up into N equal slices. Okay? So, um, so your delta x here is, um, is, uh, is 6 over, is 6 over N. Okay, so, so the, um, the coordinate of the, the, uh, the x coordinate right here, the x coordinate right here would be 3, which is this number here, plus the, uh, plus the gap. The, the delta x here, which is uh, six over n. So uh, so this triangle here. So hang on. So this triangle here. So this is our first triangle here. Uh, so so our first triangle here would be us using this and then putting it into into here. Okay. So so uh, so the height the height the height of this triangle here. The height of this triangle here is given by by us putting this. Into the original function, which will be this bit here. So this here is the height of the triangle, and then to get the area, we need to times it with the uh, well, times it with the delta x. So delta x in this case happens to be six over n. Remember, n is a general case. We, we we're splitting it. We're splitting up into n equal pieces. At the moment, n is a n n is a general case. Later on, we're going to increase n and make n go uh, head towards infinity. Anyway, the height the height of this triangle here, the height of this hang on, the height of this triangle here is given by by this, and then uh, and then we we would times it with delta x, which would then give us the area of the triangle here. Okay, and then we would move on to the next triangle, which will be this one here. So the the uh, so the height of this triangle here, the height of this triangle here is given by given by this. Uh, well, given by given by this here, okay. The the height of this triangle here is given by this, okay. Because because um, uh, the x coordinate right right the x coordinate right here is is given by three plus two lots of delta x, okay. So so the x coordinate here would be would be um, would be would be basically. Uh, two times six up here would be twelve. Okay, twelve n. So, uh, so we we would then put this number into the original function. Okay, that then that then this whole thing here would then give us the height of this triangle here. The height, so the height of this rectangle here. Okay, and then we we need to times it with um, with delta x. So that would then give us this area here. And then dot 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 dot. So it continues. And then we can summarize it to this. Okay, so so the area the area between uh, between three and nine this this area here. Okay, this whole area here is approximately is approximately this thing here. Okay, later on we're going to make n head towards infinity, but I will continue in the next video. Okay.